Hey, what is up everyone? Chris here with another ROM review. Today we're going to be going over the Jaguar ROM here that is built and developed by Optimus Pro, the Zook fans forms, along with the XDA developers. So first we're going to show 7.1 NuGet and it looks like March security patch. This is going to be the latest version that I am running. Um, that is build number two. I think that came out, um, I think April 16th or April 15th, one of the two. But anyways, this is based on Slim ROM. So what you're going to need to do is one, once you flash the ROM, you're going to actually have to go back and delete that that file that I originally mentioned in my previous video. So if you haven't checked that video out, I'll leave the link down in the description below. And so basically once you boot up your device, your data and Wi-Fi won't work until you delete that file or you um, install an ABK to allow data management to come through through four different apps. Into the ROM we go. So again, slim ROM based and right away I've been having issues um, ever since I flashed this build number two, um, I've been having issues with force closings and things like that, which is unfortunate. Um, slim settings keep stopping. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why I didn't have any issues with the first build, um, with these sort of things, but some of the features, um, they do have the Wi-Fi background scanning disabled for additional battery life, um, improve the encryption. They have also have their own custom kernel that is built in um, that is overclockable if you so choose. Now, as far as battery life goes, this was kind of a pretty decent heavy usage day. I was at the time before I charged the phone around five hours of screen on time. Um, you are, unfortunately, just to let you know, you're not going to be able to flash the dark moon raw uh, dark moon kernel on top of this um, I tried and I got boot loops so just a fair warning there as well and when you dirty flash the an updated ROM let's say build number three um, you are gonna have to immediately flash uh, your gaps again thereafter um, how they build the ROM is when you flash flash it and your recovery it will wipe the system so that's why your gaps are going to be needed to be reflashed but you can uh, enable U-Touch, which works perfectly fine. Swipe to open recents, press to go home, and then just a single tap back will take you back as well. So all that works fine. Pressing the home button will wake up the screen. Um, display, they've implemented also a built-in light and dark theme. I ran into issues where the settings um, would force close when I selected automatic so that way um, automatic basically when it's nighttime it'll automatically switch to the dark mode which is nice. Unfortunately there's no live display options so you can't change the tint um, of the screen things like that during a specific time or automatically. You do get these Zook Extras basically a, a, a Zook Doze here AKT profile. Unfortunately they don't provide much information describing the difference between of these, um, which one's the best, things like that, but you do have in brackets battery, performance, and a balance between performance and battery. Um, so you just may want to try different ones, um, give it a couple days per one. I wish they would give just a little bit more information in that regard. Um, ambience display, so similar to the OnePlus Nexus devices ambient um, you'll also your screen will turn on when you get a notification wave over the proximity things like that so those are cool but I don't have those turned on for battery saving purposes you do have options for advanced reboot so the locations of all these different settings are um, kind of scattered around versus all in one place so it's a little jarring to get used to where, and find out where all the settings are compared to other ROMs like Lineage, Dirty Unicorns that might be AOSP or Lineage based. Um, but you do have um, app ops so that way you can uh, disable specific um, features running in the background, keeping your device awake. So if you have 
um, your phone's not sleeping, going into doze or deep sleep, um, find out what app is waking up your device, either A, uninstall it, or to go ahead and just uh, keep it disabled in the background, things like that. But other than the weird closes and stuff like that that I've been experiencing um, with build number two, everything has been um, pretty fast. Camera quality, like other ROMs, have been um, just average, nothing too too serious there. You do have full substratum support as well, which a menu option does come and appear once you install substratum. Additionally, you also get the Magisk Manager root built in, so once you flash, um, this is going to be pre-installed as well. And similar, just like the since this is slim based, um, it's going to take several minutes longer to actually flash the ROM. Um, again, check out the, my previous video if you haven't seen that already. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one in a couple days. I will be posting up another video, and stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty cool as well. See you guys.